All right, as part of understanding the rules of the road, today we'll be talking about rule number 14, which talks about the head-on situation. All right, so I'll try to explain this rule in parts as it is written, so that you get a very clear understanding what this rule is about. So part A, of course, you can read out the rule. I will not be reading it out, but uh, I'll just explain and talk about this. So basically this part says that if two vessels are approaching each other rapidly in a head-on situation or when you are heading for each other basically and there is no way to distinguish one from the other for the purpose of assigning right of the way, you are supposed to act according to this rule to ensure a quick and predictable action. Basically, this rule requires both the vessels to do the same thing make a broad alteration of course to the starboard side. This action will then reduce the uncertainty and delay and also will set this rule apart from all the other rules such as 12, 13, 15 and 18 which basically assigns responsibilities for taking avoiding action to one of the vessels especially the giveaway vessel. Rule 14 assigns responsibilities to both the vessels. All right, so rule 14 applies only to power driven vessels meeting head on with the other power driven vessels. It does not apply if one of the power driven vessels is not an ordinary power driven vessel, but rather is one that is made a stand on vessel with respect to an ordinary power driven vessel as understood by rule 18a. The other special vessels include vessels not under command, restricted in their ability to maneuver, engaged in fishing, trawlers, and not required to take action initially when meeting an ordinary power driven vessel, which is can be defined as a stand on vessel. All right. Now don't include sailing vessels in this rule. Sailing vessels are covered by rule number 12. Rule 14 is basically an easy rule to follow. So if you think about it, if each power driven vessel approaching another head on is required to alter her course to starboard for a port to port passing, you must turn right or to your starboard, never towards your port. All right, it's a simple straightforward rule. As you can see, then both the vessels will pass clear of one another and you will pass port to port. All right. Rule number 14b. So you can see risk of collision must exist for this rule to apply. So if you think about it in theoretical terms, two vessels approaching nearly head on may by the time they near each other be so far apart that no action is required. In practice, if you are close enough to another vessel to determine that you are meeting nearly head on, you most likely will also be in risk of collision. All right. So deciding whether you are in a head on situation is also straightforward. Basically, you can see paragraph A said that it's as meeting on reciprocal or nearly reciprocal courses. All right. So almost at 180 degrees to each other or almost 180 degrees. Paragraph B elaborates on that where you can see the language is very clear looking at the aspect of the other vessel. That's why aspect and recognizing the aspect becomes very important for you. The decision should not depend on the course made good over the bottom. So do not delay your action until the path of the other vessel has been plotted. The leeway angle can be significant with a strong beam current or wind. All right. So basically, if you can see the both the side lights and sometimes also the master light, not sometimes, but also the master lights, sometimes one, sometimes two master lights, you will know that you're on a head-on situation. Over here, you can see this is not a power-driven vessel, but this is a trawler that is engaged in, uh, sorry, yes, that's right, so uh, sailing vessel, if I'm not wrong, sailing vessel engaged in a head-on situation with you. All right, so basically I'm trying to show here that you can see both the side lights and also the master lights. All right, paragraph C, basically poses a warning. If it is not plain to you as an officer on watch that a crossing situation exists, then take the action required for a head-on situation. All right. So sometimes some officers get confused as to whether this is a crossing or a head-on situation. In that case, assume it's a head-on situation and make a broad alteration to starboard. Make, a, make it so broad that it can be detected by the other vessel immediately. So that the other vessel now is aware of your intention, your action. In addition, and often it is not recommended, you may also 
advise the other vessel by the VHF, but it is not recommended, especially when there are many vessels in the vicinity and it may create confusion. That's why most of the masters and experienced masters will advise to you that do not engage in VHF communication, especially where there are other vessels involved. Make an alteration so broad if, of course, if sea room is there, that the other vessel immediately picks up on it and then it's clear to you as to how you will pass the other vessel. So whenever you are in doubt, make a broad alteration, of course, to starboard passing port of the other side of the other vessel. So this rule is pretty straightforward. It used to be one of my favorite rules because I could also remember it very clearly. And at the same time, the application is also simple. That is how it distinguishes. So basically remember the key point to remember for this rule is this rule puts the responsibilities on both vessels approaching each other and going towards the risk of collision. But the other vessels put the onus of responsibility sometimes on the giveaway vessel or sometimes on the overtaking vessel, so on and so forth. All right. So that is the difference. So I hope this was a short second explanation for you guys and you will remember it. I'll cover more rules in the future. Let me know if you what you think about these videos and what you would like to see me work on in the future. Study hard guys and subscribe to my channel so that you get notification about my future videos. Bye and I'll see you soon with my next video.